and welcome back to Dice Station Zebra. My name is Rob. And I'm Jocelyn. And today we are playing a single booster game of Hero Clicks Marvel Wheels of Vengeance. War Wheels of Vengeance? Otherwise known as the War Wheels of Vengeance. <laughs> and we <laughs> Which are. Which is hilarious. I love that. I love that. This game is uh, being live streamed on Twitch yep. and is being recorded for the future people. So hello, that's future right. people. That's right. Hello, future people. On the there YouTube. are many of you, many future people. And uh, all the future people. That's right. Many people. All the people. Um, and we are recording this actually on the weekend of Champion Clicks. So yeah, Champion Clips. Champion Clicks. In Florida, where uh, they are playing Team, team, team sealed. sealed is happening right yeah. now. And they are playing Team Sealed with Wheels of Vengeance. That's right. So uh, we felt a little bit of FOMO, and here we are. And here we are. Welcome to the stream, Jordo, 2K3. That's uh, Matt. That's Matt. Our hey, Dice Matt. Masters buddy. Mr. Jordan. Welcome Dr. to the stream. Do Dr. Jordan. <laughs> so what we're doing here is, uh, did you just dox Matt on that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So what we got here is we're going to open uh, boosters of Wheels of Vengeance. That's right. We're going to play all of these figures against each other, probably. As many as we can fit into a team. We're going to try to make yep. the teams equal. So that's what we do. Um, Forrest Lippy says, uh, let's see the nails. His wife, Grace, says your nails are pretty. That's awesome. Thank you. I just did them. Thanks, Grace. I use Color Street strips. My friend Emily, uh, the smiley face killer and yeah. or the queen of the north is Hero a Color Clicks Street. Player, Emily. She's a Color Street stylist. So if you're interested, let me know and I'll drop her, her info. You can order online. John is watching single booster game number two on YouTube while having this stream on. Oh my That's goodness. Awesome. This, Thanks, John. This is crazy. <laughs> Thanks for watching our content. How are things going out uh, where you are, Jordo? What's the temperature like in uh, your part of Canada? We, we hope you're not freezing to death out there anymore. Because so. we are not freezing to death. It is like summer here, practically. Yep. Yes, anyway. for Slippy, that is Emily that we just saw in the tournament. Exactly. Yep. So I'm going to open up my first booster here. And we're going to use all the boosters we, or sorry, all the figures that we can to make um, the most even pointed teams Cathon, Cathon, to fight each Cathon. other. Cathon. I don't know if I have a Cathon. It didn't feel heavy enough, but I got a black heart. Oh my goodness, I'm that. in trouble. But I well, did get a Yeti, so. Well, I'm not in that much trouble because we pre selected the map, and this map does not have a lot of hindering no. on it. It's basically like some generics here because there's Werewolf, there's Yeti, and a, a Hand Ninja. So basically. I got a bunch of goons plus Blackheart. Yeah. Now Blackheart is a rare and he is mystical monster stuffy. And uh, he is he moves people around for yeah, free. He like he is can place awesome. himself into a squ square of hindering terrain and bring two friends with him for free. Um, so it's that's pretty cool. And he looks really good on that map. Matt says the temperature is above zero. Not bad at all. That's awesome. We've been unseasonably warm here. And that's above zero Celsius, not above zero yeah. Fahrenheit for those folks in the chat that are not from Canada land. I don't know what zero Fahrenheit is. Or sorry, what zero Celsius is in Fahrenheit. It's 32. Is it 32? Isn't okay. it? Good. Isn't 32 Fahrenheit zero Celsius? I think so. Could be. John Could says be. at least you have two monsters for Blackheart. I yeah. mean, we are going to play sealed rules, which means you can start with three squares of hindering terrain. Uh, yes, you can. Yeah. So that's my that's going to be uh, my team, and let's see what you have, Jocelyn. All right, let's let's open up this booster. Yeah, Force Lippy says thirty two is freezing here in Freedom Units. Okay, <laughs> I do like that. That's funny. Okay. Uh oh. No, did you get Cathon? Uh oh. Come on. No. No, no. No, but I got Death You're Rider. You're my leg. I got Death Rider. I got Elsa Bloodstone. Oh my goodness. And I got a generic vampire and a motorcycle. Okay. So um, the motorcycle is a equipment object. Um, and I had a motorcycle, I think, in the last game. and Or one of the other sealed games we did it because it was, it was broke and I had to go into the bin to find one so we didn't have to worry about it. The, uh, the motorcycle is equipped to a character at the beginning of the game. You just pay its 15 points. And it has three clicks, and you get to choose which click you're going to give, because it gives different effects, right? So it has, like, free, move one square, improve movement characters, and combat reflexes. It has charge and super senses. And it also has a running shot and a special damage power that grants uh, passenger one. I just want to show the card that came with your cards, with the uh, Namor and a shark. Oh, that's such a cool figure. That is the figure that I, I want. That's one of the few chases that we have not 
yet got in this set. Yeah, we've been very lucky so. between BRs at PAX and all that fun stuff that we were able to get everything except for that one and uh, Vengeance. We're only short right. two chases. So only two chases. So I have a generic Vampyr. I have yep. Elsa Bloodstone, who is really awesome against Mystics. I don't think you have a lot of Mystics. Blackheart. Uh, Blackheart is my only Mystics. Um, Death Rider is super cool. And then the motorcycle. So let's look at math. So everyone on top dial on my team, would I would be 205. All points. right. So Death Rider is 80. And Elsa is 65. So when Jocelyn does math, that's 145. Um, 80 plus 65. Yes, 145. And then I add 25 to that, which would be 170. And then the motorcycle would be 185. So what you say you were? 205. But I can dial down Blackheart. Oh, I could dial down Werewolf to 15 points. That would make me 190. That's close what enough. What did you say you were? 185. 185. Yeah. Okay, we're good with that? We're good with that. Or I could put Blackheart on his 50-point starting line. I'm good with 190 and 185. How many figures do we want to use? Or how many figures? How many actions? Because <laughs> um, it's only like 200 points, right? So I think I think we were doing... Three actions. Three actions yeah. before, I think. Uh, does anyone in the chat have a suggestion of who I put the motorcycle on? I have an idea, but I'm open to uh, suggestions. Yeah, who's going to ride the motorcycle? And what what click would you put it on if you were playing this team of people? People's the, s the vampire starts on click number three because he has the steel energy and he can heal past his starting line. So you know Blackheart here with a special ability? Yes. I have these two monsters. I heard that. Yeah. So um, Blackheart's card, uh, his trait is Prince of the Underworld. For free, you choose up to two adjacent friendly characters with the monster or mystical keyword. That will be, for my team, the Yeti and the uh, Werewolf. Yep. And uh, place Blackheart in a square of hindering terrain within range. Then place the chosen characters adjacent to Blackheart. So he basically gets to transport your people around the map. That's pretty awesome. So I haven't seen anyone jump in in the chat yet, but I'm going to probably put the motorcycle on Elsa. Uh, John is saying I would put the bike on Death Rider for the senses. Yeah, I'm thinking about putting it on Elsa because she doesn't have a move and attack. She starts with stealth. He's also asking if we saw the next phase figs. Yes, I did look through the pictures of the cards. Yeah, I saw a little bit. I watched them open a couple of the boosters live, um, but they were having some audio trouble that day. It was a little <laughs> noisy. Force Lippy says that his wife beat uh, beat him with the Blackheart yesterday, so he's on team Kill Blackheart. All right. I understand. That's all right. Okay, we're going to put the motorcycle with charge and senses on Elsa, I think. Give her some additional movement. Sorry, John. I appreciate your suggestion. I think the move and attack is going to be better for me, though. I did consider putting it on the vampire, but, you know, he's probably going to die. Although, we'll that would make him super annoying, because he already has shape change. Shape change and super senses and stealth. Um, okay, so are you starting um, with some hindering, Rob? Uh, yes, I'm going to do that. Um, so part just setting of up my team. Part of me wants to set start with hindering, too, but that's going to be advantageous to you. Now, Blackheart gets to also... Uh, he has a trait called Brimstone. At the beginning of your turn, generate a fire smoke terrain marker in a square within range. At the beginning of your next turn, deal one damage to each character occupying that marker, then remove the marker. So I get that, and I'm also going to get myself some... Terrain. Some hindering terrain. I am finding my Sarah marker that I just dropped on the floor because Death Rider gets to generate Sarah when... A character, friendly or opposing, with the mystical keyword is KO'd after resolutions. I get to generate a Sarah Bystander, which is max one. And if Death Rider is the only character on my force, I get to also generate Sarah. It's a trait. And Sarah has super senses. No, super not super. Well, she does have super senses, but she also has sidestep. And she has blades, claws, fangs, penetrating psychic blast with a range of four, support, and perplex. It's a pretty good bystander. Um... And uh, actually, I was having a chat in the YouTube stream with uh, Force Slippy today about bystanders because someone was calling them pogs. Oh. Yes, I did see that right. yeah, in the dialogue so stream. Yep. I guess I should put my people on the map, right? That would sure. probably help, Rob. Now I can start with these debris markers, right? Yeah, they're just hindering. Yeah, they're hindering. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to 
put those out. Part of um, me wants to start with Death Rider on a lower point value because he can have giant reach, but you know, because he has this cool thing called uh, Call Me Death Rider. So I'm gonna put out my terrain. But he he doesn't have that till click five. I don't have any. Here. Oh, the vamp! I was gonna say I don't have any flight. The vampire can fly. Um, but that's not gonna help me any. I'm trying to be strategic. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Five. I couldn't have picked a better map. This is uh for Blackheart. <laughs> when I picked this, this is awesome. I mean, don't you wish you were playing on Wakanda right now? I do. We we had actually said before we started the stream we've played a lot on Wakanda lately, so we probably should play on something different. Yeah. We like to uh, mix it up, right? So. Yeah, and these games are just you know we're here we're here for funs. Yeah. Right? We're here for funsies. So. Um. So, Forest Lippy is asking how much free terrain can you put down, and are there limitations? So you do get, you get for a sealed game you get three, three objects, correct? Three objects in a sealed game. So, yeah. So you get three pieces of terrain is the short answer, mm -hmm. right? Now, a light object that you could pick up. Let's say, like for example, these are light objects. Um, they have been classed as terrain markers now. Yeah, they're called object terrain. Yeah, object terrain. So, so basically, it just they basically say you can bring in three terrain. Yeah. And if you want to use an object, that counts as a terrain. Yeah. That's all that really means. In a sealed so. game, you can use standard terrain, which means a hindering barrier or water. Yes. You can't bring in any of like the one by one elevated or any of the bigger mm -hmm. bigger pieces. Yeah, so I could just have easily have put blocking terrain down yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think that I'm going to bring object terrain today, Rob. Okay. Because the hindering is going to be advantageous to you and your black heart. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be advantageous to you and your black heart. Mm -hmm. So I have a lot of blades, though. But you never know. Sometimes objects are handy. Yep. All right. Okay, I'm just getting this other camera is set up. Okay. I think we are almost good to go. I'm good to go and you're good to go. Yep. And you're going first, right? Uh, yes. I think so. Because I won the roll, so I chose... Well, typically you choose map and go second, but... We did, yeah, we did a little differently for this. When we do, when we do, um, these single games in Sealed, we predetermine the map at the beginning and whoever wins map also... Or whoever wins the roll goes first. That's right. And we selected the map together. It wasn't like you built the map to go with your team. That's right. So we chose the map before we opened the boosters. That's right. That's the fun randomness of it. Yeah. So I'm just going to look at my other characters real quick here. I have werewolf, so there's a moon trait I have to roll for at the beginning of the turn. Mm -hmm. Right. That's right. So there's that, and I have the yeti who modifies defense plus one for every action token it has. And then uh, Hand Ninja has uh, Stealth, um, and uh, he can also carry characters, because um, he has Underworld Team ability. And he has a special move power, which grants, uh, after resolutions, you may use Smoke Cloud as free. Okay. One second before we start, Jocelyn. I think Rob needs some Smoke Cloud. Very <laughs> I need some, some Smoke Tokens smoke. to go with the... The hand ninja. So there we go. There's my smoke tokens. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. So ready when you are. I just realized that the vampire does fly, which means the vampire could carry somebody. Yes. Because there's no rules on carrying as long as you're the same size, right? So. Um, Did you want to switch around your figures? I think I'm okay. And welcome to the stream, Red Mage. Thanks for joining us. Smoke Monster Squad attack. Smoke break. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke break. Okay. Okay. Good well, to go. Good, good luck. luck. All right. And uh, come at me. Yep. Okay. Werewolf. Let's use the moon trait. Oh. I got a two, shape which means change. he's got shape change. So in a result of one through four, you get shape change on werewolf. On a five or six, you modify his attack plus one, and he gets flurry. Usually that's what I roll on first turn because I can't make an attack. Mm -hmm. Um. So let's see. Is yeah, cool. Sorry, is Yeti invincible? Is no, he's only tough. All right. He's terrible. Um, but he modifies his defense based on his action tokens, right? That's true. Yeah. And he is giant, so don't forget. 
You get giant willpower. Oh my gosh, yeah, he's giant. And he can also carry a smaller based character, mm -hmm. or smaller size character. Okay, so I am... So so Blackheart says, choose up to two adjacent characters with monster and mystical keyword. Check. Place Blackheart in a square of hindering terrain within range, then place the chosen characters adjacent to Blackheart. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at your team. You have... I have Charge on Death Rider. And then just Stealth on the no, other two? she's got Charge because she's got the motorcycle. Oh, right. On Charge and Super Senses. Four. And then the Vampire is Stealth. Okay, well, you cannot get to me, really, right? I mean... Not really. Maybe. So we're going to use the free ability to go one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring his uh, f amazing friends along with him. Blackheart and his amazing friends. Blackheart and his amazing friends. That uh, is that a new uh, TV show that I don't know about, like Spider-Man and his amazing friends? That's right. So we're doing that, and then um, that we're that was free. Yes, right? that was free. So then, the hand ninja who can move a total of nine. Nine. Nine is going to go Number one, nine. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So he's moving to there. And I'm just going to verify what his card says. Special move power, smoke bomb. When Hand Ninja moves after resolutions, they may use a smoke cloud as free. So we're going to put up some smoke here. Within range and line of fire. Um, yep. So min range is four, correct? Yep. So we'll just... Lay some smoke right across. Um, we'll put one here. And uh, and one underneath him here, just, just for fun. Yeah, for stealthiness. And that is my turn one. Okay. And what about Blackheart? Oh. Don't you need to make your fire smoke terrain? I do. Blackheart also has um, uh, perplex. He will perplex up his own defense, up by one. Okay. And then Blackheart's Brimstone powers. Oh, hold on. That was a fi that was at the beginning of the turn. I generate a fire smoke terrain marker within range. Quick, you didn't move. Generate, <laughs> generate the terrain. Okay. Well, he was here. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. No. I want to go one, two, three, four. Right here. Okay. I guess that just prevents other people from occupying that square, right? Like if I put it ahead of time well, like that? Well, I mean, I think it's there because it's smoke terrain, which means he can. it's hindering and he can just boop into it. Right, but unfortunately, um, at the beginning of your next turn, deal one damage to each character occupying that marker. So he would damage himself. Right, but he is tough. He's tough. It's not penetrating. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Good point. So he, he basically comes equipped to make his own hindering. Yes. And then can bring his friends along with him. That's right. And joining us is Cherry in the chat. Hey, Cherry. Good evening, Cherry. Um, all right, so you have charge on your Yeti, and your Yeti can charge for three, plus you have a perplex, so you could potentially charge for four. One, two, three, four, so you could get to here. Mm -hmm. How far can the werewolf charge? The werewolf, he does not charge, he has sidestep. He has Cause sidestep. I, yeah, because I dialed okay. him down. One, two, uh, one, two, so he can get to here. So this line, you can get me with werewolf, and then we said one, two, three. This line, you can get me with Yeti. One, two, three, four. This line you could get me with Yeti because you've got a perplex, right? And then your hand ninja, what's his move and attack? Um, he just has a special move um, that generates the smoke cloud. There's no oh, okay. there's no move and attack on that no one. No move and attack. No. And then your Blackheart has a running shot with a penetrating psychic blast, but can can Blackheart see through hindering? Um, can he see through hindering? He cannot. Okay. No. So stealth is my friend here. Mm -hmm. Stealthy. Okay, so Elsa could charge. Oh, she's a charge of 10 because she's got the motorcycle, which improves her movement by 2. So she could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but I can't get you. However, if I go into the square, I am a target. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4. I am. But I want to occupy that square so that Blackheart can't occupy it. So, <laughs> as I babble... Oh, Marlon says, don't forget about the Yeti Giant Reach. Good point, Marlon. That is a good point. Yeah. One, two, three, four, Giant Reach, two. Yeah. All right, so gi the Yeti can see through stealth. Elsa's going to go to here mm -hmm. and occupy this piece of hindering terrain. Now that I've reminded you, you can make your own hindering terrain. 
and she picked up the bowling ball object terrain. And then Vampire is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't have a perplex. Red Mage says he is okay. He's 3D printing some game bets, so he's distracted. I'm going to go to here. Yep. That's not an object token. That's an object. <laughs> he picked up an object. I knew what you meant. She needs a token. And Death Rider... One, two, and Red Mage, four. what uh, game are you printing, uh, 3D printing some stuff for? Death Rider's going to come up here behind Elsa. Okay. Also picking up an object. So everyone's got bladey objects. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not true. Elsa doesn't have blades yet. Okay, that's my turn. That's your turn. That's my turn. Okay. I did a thing. Um, Interesting. So... The hint, the smoke fire marker comes down. Yeah. And then all the other smokes come down. Um, and then I have to roll for my moon trait. Yeah. I don't have leadership. We agreed on three actions, right? That's right. Okay. I also don't have leadership. Um, let's see. I'm going to roll for the moon trait. Okay. Two, so it stays on shape change. Shape change. And, Okay. Can you remind me who has monster and mystical keyword? Is it basically everyone except Hand Ninja? Uh, that is correct. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Mm -hmm. For no reason. For no reasons reason that will all. become apparent in future turns. Okay, who am I going to take down here? Nobody. Hmm. Stealth? Yep. Stealth. Hiding? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, first things first, because I have to do this at the beginning of the turn. At the beginning of your turn, generate a fire smoke terrain marker in a square within range. So range is not it's not line of sight. Yeah, so line of fire. One, two, three. It's just range only. Yeah. One, two, three, five. So I could do that. I just try to say line of fire because that's the is that language. the official language? the official language okay. in the book. Yeah, I should do the same. Um. Okay. So I think I'm gonna put it here. Okay. Because I think I'm just going to bring my people over. Yep. So we're going to do that. And... Because I kindly reminded you that you can bring your own terrain. <laughs> <laughs> you did. And... Uh, Eyes in trouble. He comes over here. All right. He brings his amazing friends with him. Blackheart, his amazing friends. That's going to be the name of this, <laughs> this video when we put it on YouTube. I'll try to remember to name it that. Um, okay, so so we have come over to there. Now, Blackheart has Perplex. He does. So how about we... Um, oh, this death, this death guy can be uh, nasty, right? This is true. So I don't know who to... So can Elsa. Yeah. So... Are, are you looking to perplex my people, or are you looking to perplex your own people? Well, I'm going to perplex your defense down. So you can't see Death Rider That's because true. of the, the pinch here, right? These characters are That's blocking true. the line of fire. So the only person you could perplex is Elsa. I will perplex Elfa, Elsa. Elsa is safeguard everything. Oh, I can't perplex her? No, she's fine. <laughs> she is safeguard <laughs> mystic. You got me. You got me. The hook was right in the mouth. <laughs> you got me. She is safeguard mystics. Yeah. Um, and she has... Toughness mm -hmm. and super senses. Mm -hmm. So just so you know, and I'm wishing I'd actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should put her on a different click, but that's okay. On the motorcycle. Okay. Would have been smarter. My best attack value is is uh, Blackheart. Okay. With an 11, I probably shouldn't have done that. Would you like to change it? You haven't done anything no, yet. No, I, I made a mistake. I should have kept him at range is what I should have done. But I mean, anyway, we all should have done things differently already, and we just started this game. <laughs> I know. So uh, we're going to attack Elsa. Okay. That will be an 11 on your 18. Oh, I forgot to choose an Avengers team ability. Oh, yeah, go for it. I mean, I have Mystics, and I have Underworld team ability. Yeah, I'll choose Mystics. Yeah, I figured. Okay. So you're attacking Elsa. Did mm -hmm. you perplex her? I perplexed her down to okay. a 17. So now it's an 11 on 17. You can do that, even though she's stealthy, because you're adjacent to her. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good point for the viewers at home. 11 on 17. Needs a 6. Oh, it's only a 3. And I don't have any prob. No prob. Do you have any prob? No, I don't. 
live or di live by the dice, lot die by the dice. That's right. This is a probability control free game. Uh -huh. Woohoo! I'm doing a little dance here in the background. You can't see me. So um, doing the no prob dance. Yeti is going to attack Elsa. Okay. Ten. On seventeen. On seventeen. Oh my goodness, that's a five. Before we started this game, Rob said, "Did you bring the dice jail over?" Yeah to uh, Dice Station Zebra Headquarters I this afternoon, and I said, no, I forgot it. I do have the um, alternate dice. so um, It's only the first turn. It's only the first turn, so let's give it one more shot. Okay, Werewolf, do your thing. Um, 10 on Elsa's 17. Yep. That's an 8. Okay, I get Super Senses. Super Senses says... That's only a 4. Uh, I get a Senses on a 5 through 6. <laughs> on a five through six only. <laughs> That's right. Um, let's see. Okay, so the werewolf, he's got blades. Always roll blades. Always one, roll one, blades. One, one. Oh, <laughs> it's a one. You are tough. I though. am tough, so you don't get to put anything through there. That was awful. Yep. That was awful. Okay. Yep. Well, um, the next thing we're going to do. Oh wait, that's three that's actions. Three actions. So you're going to clear your your dude. And I don't get to use. His free smoke. smoke cloud, which this is... His smoke cloud's only when he moves, right? That's only when he moves, so that's awful. Um, okay, that's my turn. Pass to you. Okay, um, I have no leadership. I have no beginning of... I don't think I have leadership. Hang on, let me check. No, I don't have any leadership. I have no beginning of turn traits. Um, I have objects in people's hands. And I, like I said, should have done things slightly differently. Okay. All right, so Elsa would like to know which monster and mystical keywords have mastermind and shape change. Monster and mystical. So he's so got shape change. So there's no, there's no um, mastermind. Okay. And the shape change is on werewolf because of his trait. Okay. Because when Elsa... Um, when Elsa Bloodstone attacks, opposing characters with the monster or mystical keywords can't use Mastermind or Shape Change. Okay. That's awesome. However, like, Blackheart is the bigger threat here. He is. So I feel like Elsa should probably attack him. Well, really, the Yeti is the bigger threat because he's giant. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> took me a second. <laughs> there you go. It took me a second on that one. Red Mage says he's printing plastic tokens to replace the card tokens in Sky Team. Okay. Does Blackheart have any rollouts? No shape change, we said. Uh, no shape change. Black There's just on this guy. Right. But does he have like super senses or anything? Blackheart? Yes. He does not. He has mystics. So if that changes Safeguard your Safeguard mystics. Safeguard mystics. And that is real. Awesome. That is not that Jocelyn is made something up. That's right. It says it right on the card. It says Safeguard Mystics. Yep. It's At the in black top and there. white. Yeah. It's a real one. Okay. Um she has an object. She has precision strike, which doesn't matter because you don't have super senses. Oh, you have a reducer, but I think it's just toughness, it's right? It's just toughness. Yeah. Okay. Um, the reason I said I was wishing I'd put her on a different click on the motorcycle is because she has range combat expert right now, mm -hmm. which would have made her a 12 for 4. Um, but I guess I'm an 11 for 4 with the object, so I'm going to stop babbling now and roll my dice. So Elsa is going to attack Blackheart. She's an 11 for 4 with the object. Safeguard Mystics. Close Re attack. Red Mage says it, it says it right on the card on a sticker that you stuck <laughs> on. <laughs> Red Mage keeps telling me I should make stickers for some of the things I say and then stick them on the cards, but I don't want to damage the cards. That's true. I'd well, have to you put could the always card put it, in a sleeve. Yeah, put it on a sleeve. We <laughs> okay. should make those stickers and hand them out. <laughs> 11 on 18. I need a 7 or better. There's no prob. That's a 9. Yep. That was Elsa on Blackheart? Elsa on Blackheart. Yeah, you got With it. With the object, so it's four. Four less the toughness. One, two, three, four? Yep. Oh, wait. It's three. It's not penetrating, right? Uh, it is not penetrating. It is precision strike. So he's on click four now. Oh, and she was actually a 12 anyway, because I picked Mystics for the Avengers. That's true. Um, okay. So now... What's left? Now, y now you're on invulnerability. Cherry says, like, you don't have dupe cards. <laughs> I know. Yes, we're on invulnerability. Yeah, it's invulnerability. Not on super not of super rares and chases. Okay, Death Rider has exploit weakness, which says, ha, ha, ha. I do not care about your invulnerability. That's true. And although I can't see you, we are adjacent, so I can hit you. Um, and how many clicks are left on Blackheart? Um, 
One, two, three, four will KO him. He's got four so points left. So Death Rider is also holding a object terrain. Yep. It's a garbage can. But wait, he's got blades. Why would you... Uh, because I have an object and four will kill him. him. So 11 for four exploit yes. on Blackheart. Uh, but I will take the Mystics potentially. Okay. All right. So 11 on 17. 17. Need a six or better. That yeah. is an eight. You got him. So that is four. Oh, there was a Mystics damage. There was a Mystics damage, which my toughness does so not absorb. You know what I should have done is I should have put the marker here. So that he would have been there away from your range attacks. Put my two friends here. Yeah. And then I could have ranged you. But anyway, yeah. I failed. That would have been a better strategy. Well, she's stealthy, so mm -hmm. you wouldn't have been able to range her. That's true. Right? Yeah. But I could have ranged but I, you. I would have went for... Yeah. I would have changed it to go for Death Rider. Then. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... I failed. Failed. Well, my next turn's going to be kind of sad because I'm going to have to clear <laughs> people. Um... The vampire went up here for some reason. Oh, because oh. he's stealthy. Four Slippy's asking, why can he hit him without seeing him being there is across people? Why can he hit oh, him? Oh, it's just, it's when you're adjacent oh, to someone, yes. you can attack them even if you can't see them. You don't have line of fire for purposes of, say, perplex or outwit. If there's two people, in, it's called the, well, it's intersecting figures, yep. right? Yeah, the, the, the slang term is the pinch. The pinch. So you wouldn't be able to see for, like, targeting purposes but you're adjacent so you can swing that's right it's, it's mm -hmm. like it's like if someone's basically standing stealthily in a bush you can like wildly punch them yes even if you're not quite sure they're there and then maybe you hit right mm -hmm. so okay so the vampire doesn't have a move in attack um but the vampire is going to go he can go seven he's going to go one two three over here i'm just going to double token my entire team for you rob but I'm now adjacent to your hand ninja, so he have to break nice. away. And I have nobody to clear. Oh, mm -hmm. and he was mystical, right? He was. So can I change that? Yeah. Because when a mystical character is KO'd, I get to bring in a Sarah. Oh, neat. Right? That's Death Rider's trait. Okay. When a character, friendly or opposing, with the mystical keyword is KO'd, after resolutions generate a Sarah bystander. Okay. And fortunately... Um, and that's Sarah here. Yeah, no. Does she have a reducer? She doesn't. So she I'm does not. She's I'm got not super gonna senses yeah. and sidestep and two special powers, which are on the card. Yeah, so the, the special attack power is Blades, Claws, Fangs, and Penetrating Psychic Blast. And the special defense power is Support and Perplex. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to place her here because I place her adjacent to mm -hmm. um, Death Rider. Actually, let's place her here. And then she's going to sidestep... <laughs> John asks, are we allowed to point out forgotten stuff? Absolutely, John. Did Pointed we forget out. something else? He says, never mind, she remembered. So oh. I think that's what it was. <laughs> okay. Was Sarah bystander? So Sarah is going to sidestep. She's going to perplex up her own attack to an 11. Mm -hmm. And she's going to penetrating psychic blast on the Yeti. Nice. So 11 on 17. It's uh, 18 because of the... Oh, it's action token. Action token. 11 adds on 18. to his defense. Need a 7 or better. That's an eight. Oh my goodness. That's two. Uh, it is two penetrating. Penetrating. Uh, yeah. Okay. One and two. Nicely done. And then I'm going to remove the vampire as action token. Ooh. And I did not action token my entire team. I am taking a beating here. Just the good people. So my smoke fire marker comes down. That's right. And I have to roll the moon trait on the werewolf. It's a five, which means I get flurry. And plus one attack. And plus one attack. Cherry's complimenting my nails, matching my sweater. Thank you so much, Cherry. This color, for those at home, is called Are You Madridding Me? <laughs> nice. And uh, makes me want to go to Spain. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so let's see what we have going on here. I think we have 18s. Yep. 18 different numbers here. And that's a 10 on Werewolf. This is a 10 on him. But he's actually an 11 because of his... Yeah. Bonus and trait. Okay. Elsa has um, super senses from the motorcycle. Okay. Super senses. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. Um, and then he's mystics. Yeah, I don't like that. So let's go on uh, Elsa. Let's try. Okay. So, um, or unless I... Breakaway sidestep. Does, is the... is He's not mystics, right? No. The vampire? No, he's got okay. steel energy. I will break away sidestep. Stealth... 
Breakaway is a two because breakaway never works for me. <laughs> Except when it does. <laughs> it never works. So um, we'll just attack Elsa because it, she's not Mystics, right? No, she's Avengers. 11 on your 18. Yeah. We're going to give it a shot. That's an eight. Okay, that will hit. You get a super senses. Super senses says it's okay. a two, so you can hit me. We're going to roll blades. It's only a one. Uh, my toughness will absorb that. Yikes. Um, okay, and I do have flurry, so I get a second attack. Second attack. 11 on 18. That's only a five. That is a sad state of affairs. That is very sad. So, uh, werewolf. You're double tokened. Um, the Yeti will attack Elsa. Okay. That will be a 10 on 18. 10 on 18. Yeah. Nope. That's a four. And these dice will not be used in game two. <laughs> would, would these dice like to change now, or are you going to finish your turn? Because <laughs> um, you still have a hand ninja. I do. Um, we need to bring the hand ninja in. That's what we need to do. A ninja of handing. So, can he move through other characters? I don't think he can, right? I don't think he has improved movement I don't movement see improved through. movement nope. on his card. So, with a move of nine, could I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? I could only get to one character, really. Um, unless I want to slow down the vampire. Let's slow down the vampire. Let's go one, two, three, and uh, you, have, you have range attacks, right? Uh, the vampire doesn't. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and we'll be right here. Sure. Like this. And that way you can't uh, range me. And uh, do you want to generate some smoke? Because here the smoke is coming. Yeah, I could do that. And the smoke is killing you. Let's uh, let's put it in his squares because he's stealthy, right? Yeah, he's stealthy. So let's do that. And that's my turn. Over to you. Okay. Well, I have Finish no willpower. Team. Power. I have no. Oh, did you roll willpower on your yeti? I did not. Oh, because he's giant. Yeah. Thanks for the reminder. You got it. I get it on a three, right? Yeah. For Gi giant. Giant and Colossal succeed willpower on a three through six. Yep. So. Cool. All right. So um, I basically have a vampire and a Sarah this turn. Yeah. One on blade hurts Slippy for sure. <laughs> John needed a dice prison the other night. My dice were my downfall. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Um, well, I think uh, Sarah will um, perplex up her attack again to an 11 mm -hmm. and she will shoot the yeti 11 on a 17 because the yeti has uh, an action token see getting your roll willpower was advantageous to me mm -hmm. it's kind of a weird power for it someone is. who's who's giant anyway yeah 11 on 17 i need a six that is a five although it kind of looks like a, a six <laughs> because that's a weird looking little one but anyway you won't convince me. <laughs> I know it's a six. That that missed. Okay, so we need to put a token on Sarah. Oh, I hit the camera. Sorry, friends. Uh, I'm going to sidestep back mm -hmm. next to my friend, the Death Rider. And then, I mean, it's it's a long shot, but yeah, vampire will swing on. Hand Ninja, because Hand Ninja's got combat reflexes. So he does, so he's a 19. And a 19, and Defense. I'm a 10. So it's not impossible. 9, not 10, impossible. 11, 12. I've got four chances. Not four chances, four rolls. <laughs> That's only a five. Yeah. So that misses. All right. So Death Rider will clear. Elsa will clear. And we will pass turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to switch up the dice Team and see. Team Blackheart. And see if it works. I'm going to be using my Avengers, Avengers dice. Avengers dice. Your uh, uh, moon trait. Yes. Six. Plus one attack and flurry. Um, I was hoping for shape change because he's double tokened, <laughs> but you know. Um, willpower on the Yeti. No, I only got a two. 
and uh, so I get Yeti can can try to smash. Yep. Um, Ten on Elsa's eighteen. Yep. That's a ten. That, That'll hit. That is a ten. She will roll super senses. Super senses says nope. It's a two. Okay, so he's a printed three, and I think he does have blades, though. I'm a tough, so it's up to you. Uh, let's go blades. Let's try. Blades, one, claws, fangs. One, one. A six. Ouch. Look at that. The okay. Avengers dice are delivering. You are not penetrating. Not penetrating. Okay. No. So I will take five. One, two, three, four, and five. So now I'm on Flurry Blade Steel Energy for Plex. Yikes. And you take a Mystics. She's no, you don't. She's no, not Mystics. She's not Mystics. <laughs> Making up rules I'm, again. I, because she's <laughs> I Safeguard Mystics, for some reason I had it in my head that she was Mystics. Um. Okay. Hand Ninja. Yes. Takes an action. Is going to attack Vampire. Vampire says Shape Change. Valid target. I can't okay. roll anything but a 2 on that. I am a 10 on your 17. Yep. Crit miss. <laughs> Thank you, Avengers Dice. See, I praised them and they failed me. They Live sabotaged by the me. dice, die by the dice. Sabotage. Okay, I take one damage. Now I want to. Now I want to listen to Beastie Boys. Yeah. Sabotage. Sabotage. I was doing the William Shatner. Sabotage. Anyway, look that up on YouTube. I don't know that one. It's a good one. He was uh, recording. He was doing a, a voice on a show on a yep. animated. And he was saying sabotage. And the guy was trying to get him to say sabotage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very funny. Anyway, uh, that's my turn. That's your Werewolf turn. Werewolf cleared. All right. Over to you. Well, oh, smoke cloud it came down. Uh, you're putting it back up. Oh, you, you can't put it back up. It does up. not, yeah. yeah. So there we go. Okay. That was supposed to come down at the beginning of turn. Well, I am going to flurry. Mm-hmm. I'm going to perplex up my own attack to an 11. And I'm going to perplex it up again to a 12. He's an 18 defense now. She's got perplex as well. Yep. So 12. 12. First attack on Yeti. 12 mm -hmm. on 18. I need a 6 or better. That's a 7. So mm -hmm. that will hit. She has blades. Do it. So let's do it. 5. Okay, less toughness. Yep. I think you gave it him. One, two, three's KO'd. All right. Yeti goes down. Second attack on Werewolf, I guess. I'm still a 12. You're a 19 because of combat reflexes. Yep. So I need a 7 or better. That is a 10. You got it. Uh, let's roll the blades. Four. Ouch. I think you got him for sure. One, two, he's, he's gone. Oh my gosh. It's Hand Ninja against the world. All right, well, she takes an action token. Mm -hmm. Did either of them have Mystics? Um, No, just Blackheart has Mystics. Okay. Yep. Death Rider, um, let's see. One, two, three. Can I, can I jump up the diagonal here? Yes. I can do that, right? I, I can go one, two, three, four. I believe so. All right. Um, yeah. That's an elevation. Yeah, there's no, there's. it's not like, like I couldn't do this because these squares yeah, are Yeah, that's a way. weird interaction there with the two. But this one I could. Because that's not considered square. on the other side of the rim. Yeah. Apparently. All right. But that is. Um, so charge on dude. Yep. 11 on 19. That's correct. Need an 8. Oh, you dropped. Table, table prob. <laughs> I don't know how far it went. I don't know. You want to use these dice? No. Oh, I can I can see it. Okay. And I can get there, even though I'm attached. <laughs> Hang on. Roll my own dice. You could just as easily use these dice, but that's okay. Did you see what those dice were rolling? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 11 on 19. Need an 8 or okay. better. Okay. That's a nine. Yeah. Um, let's roll the blades. Two. Two into the hand ninja. Yeah. Exploiting, if it matters. No. One, two. Okay, now, oh my gosh, he's got poison now. Okay. Um, and flurry. And vampire. 
Yep. It's just a straight 17 now. There's no more combat reflexes. Okay. 10 on 17. Need a 7 or better. That was one attack. Yeah, that's right. Because it was a flurry. I was like, why am I rolling so many attacks? That is an 8. So that will hit. Full Did you KO him? Should I roll the one, blades? 2, 3 KOs him. Okay. You can roll blades if you want, but... <laughs> Bla blades would have been... One. one. No, but you did the printed. Yeah, and the next turn okay. he would have been double token, so he would have just cleared. Good job on that one. That was crazy. I made a... F like I said, I made the fatal mistake. Um, what I should have done is when your person was here, like I said, I should have put black heart like right here. Yep. And then maybe I would have put like werewolf here because your death rider was here. Yep. And uh, then I could have done like a ranged on death rider. Mm -hmm. And then he's got sidestep, so I could have sidestepped in. Yeah. Or to here even, and made a close attack. So that was my strategical error. Um, yeah. I thought you know. I was going to be disadvantaged because of A, your black heart, because you can bring your own terrain. Yeah. With the, smi the fire smoke. And then also only having three figures on the map, but then we were able to, I was able to generate Sarah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that worked out well for um, you. So yeah, that worked out well. Amazing. So yeah, that was, um, that was a game. Yeah. <laughs> That was a quick game. <laughs> Thanks for playing, Rob. Yeah, thank you for playing as well. And I think uh, for those of you in the chat on the live stream, we are going to pause. Yeah. Right, Rob, we're going to do a closing. Yep. And then we're going to... Um, yep. So for the YouTube viewers, hello future people, um, let us know what you thought in the comments below of this game. And don't please uh, uh, like, hit the like button and the subscribe button. We, we would, would appreciate we'd that. We would greatly appreciate that. And we'll put all our, our uh, information up here. You can reach out to us in all these usual places. When you watch the YouTube videos, these links will be in the video description. So you can just copy and paste them into your browser. We highly recommend you join our Discord because it's an yeah. awesome place to be. Come join our Discord. Um, we talk about rules stuff, which is awesome because it helps us too. Because mm -hmm. we're not pros. <laughs> no, and we do not make so rulings. No, we don't make rulings either. So. No. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Um, Twitch viewers, stick around if you'd like for game number two. And uh, YouTube viewers, thanks for watching. And we'll and see you next we'll time. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.